they're protecting her even though they don't have to they don't know who she is they don't know who i am so i think it takes a really a really special person to want to give something of themselves for someone else and someone else so small and defenseless i i didn't think that my body was not going to be ready to to make milk i just kind of assumed that okay the baby's out something will happen when i think about what those parents are going through and i just think i could do one thing to make their life a little bit easier uh, for me that that means a lot to me You don't expect that this would happen and that those opportunities would be taken away from you, right? And for me, for her, feeding her was a big thing for me. And the fact that I can't and someone else is willing really helps. Sometimes I pump to get my own milk and it's five cc's and, you know, she, she takes 12 cc's every feed. so. That's, that's how much of an impact it makes for her because I would not be able to feed her if I was home. I wouldn't be able to feed her, so they are the ones that are responsible for making her grow. It's basically a gift from myself and Elijah because without him, I wouldn't have the milk to donate. So. Uh, I like it, it's, it, it feels good knowing that um, it helps. We just go day by day. That's the only way you survive. You can't, you can't look too far ahead and you can't fixate on the things that go bad and, and you just have to go, some days it's hour by hour, some days it's day by day. From, in terms of milestones for her, I think, I think just tomorrow, just tomorrow.